Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Leon Bailey SBC card to review today. So we're taking a look at a card that is 5 foot 10 with high medium mark rates, left footed, 4 star skills with a 4 star weak foot, which is very good for base card stuff. He's got flare traits, outside foot shot traits, so no finesse shot trait on him. He's got 95 acceleration with 97 sprint speed, which is great. You don't have to improve that. 85 attacking positioning with 81 finishing, 85 shot power at 80 composure. So so this card is going to make the most sense with a finisher chemistry style for you to be able to boost his shooting as much as possible as well as his attacking positioning. Uh, not only that, but you will be boosting his dribbling as well, considering the fact that his agility and balance by default is pretty decent, considering the fact that he's a 5'10 player. Uh, boosting it more is definitely still going to be very important to make him as responsive as possible in game. With the boost, we'll be giving him the 99 agility with 94 balance and 99 dribbling. With 85 ball control and 84 reactions, the only thing that's a little bit off with this card is obviously the 80 composure, but obviously that's stretching it, right? In regards to his base characteristics for passing, 79 short passing was 70 long passing, 83 curve, 82 vision is perfectly fine, right? It's not necessarily a bad thing at all. Would it be better if it was if it was slightly better? Sure, but it's still very good passing stats for someone that you're boosting in the other areas, right? So uh, with Bailey's card, there's a couple of way, ways I see this card being used. Um, for me personally, a couple of ways that I want to try him out, one of them being the 3-5-2. I want to play him in the cam position. Now, the reason why I want to play him here is because I want to be able to test out what his dribbling capabilities are like to open up the space for others around him on the pitch, right? So that's why we're going to be using him there in that situation. Uh, we're going to have... The instruction of just stay forward for him too and then we are also going to be trying him out in a 4-3-3 formation right uh 4-3-3 false nine is the one that i usually like to try out uh where he's going to be playing in the right wing position or striker position we could start him off in the striker position uh just to see what his attacking ai is like right so with holland uh we'll put holland We'll put Holland in the midfield for now. <laughs> Why not? Why not? We'll put uh, Philip Lom over here in the left center mid position with Zakaria playing CDM. Um, let's see here. Put, uh, we'll put Joshua Kimik over here. Yeah, I think that works perfectly, actually. We'll put Bailey over here in the striker position see what's up. Actually, no. We'll play him in the wing position, and then we'll put Thorgan over here in the midfield, so I can actually naturally use Holland there. And then the instructions that we're going to have for the wingers is cut inside, get in behind. Definitely want to be able to try out that left foot with Bailey if given the opportunity to. Man mark, stay back while attacking cover center, and then stay back while attacking for the fullbacks. So we'll try him out on the 3-5-2, try him out on the 4-3-3, three, three. let's see what's up with this card. Got to remember to put him on the finisher chemistry style right away, because honestly, it's really, really important, so... Ooh, it's pretty good to be honest. He definitely has a little bit of a physical aspect to it because of the body type that he has, but it's nice. Okay, so he's not playing for some reason. Probably saw the team and was like, whoa, what a freaking team this is. Um, but Leon Bailey, man, with a nice little finesse shot on that angle to score that opportunity. So I think it's going to be very important to give him the finisher chemistry style to boost that shooting as much as possible for him to score an opportunity like that. Okay, back in business, boys. First time strike. There you go, Bailey. Well positioned. So that's why it's nice to have players like this kind of like on that right side so they can go for that first time strike without you needing to finesse shot it uh, to score that opportunity. So attacking AI wise, not too bad right there in that camp spot. Aggressive on the run. He runs in a straight line there. Okay. Straight line runner right there. Being aggressive right there in the striker position, offers his support. So we'll get a drag back off here. Strike from that angle. Okay, so he goes to the middle from a very rough angle to shoot from. And he does okay, to be honest. Uh, don't mind his attacking AI too much. In that situation, I kind of wish he kind of curved his run right there. But that's a very, like... Uh, it's like situation to situation, obviously, because when players do that, you kind of have to work with the other players around you. So, you know, he has like very uh, winger characteristic kind of vibes. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like he's going to rock that 4-3-3 position. Attacking AI, touch, wait for that run. 
shoot right away. There we go. The dribbling is really rough with the left stick in this game, but I kind of felt like uh, when I get into those situations, people kind of like overcommit those tackles constantly. So it's good that we did the fake shot right there. He's positioned really well in the cam spot so far, guys. He's not super agile, obviously. You can even tell from his initial acceleration right there that he's not, but it's a pretty decent card. I'm gonna try his dribbling out a little bit more. Yeah, his dribbling is nice though. With the finisher chemistry style, I do like it. That's a bad pass by me, obviously, but it's not like super responsive. That's the one thing you have to take into consideration, but it's still pretty good. Does he do an attacking AI run here with Sané, Alfonso? Yeah, he's aggressive there. First time strike. Nice. I didn't tell him to make that run. He decided to make that run by himself, and he scored that opportunity for us, and I think this guy might leave as well. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's not bad in that camp position. I like him. Attacking AI movement is uh, not bad with him so far. I love how we're just, like, using, like, direct rivals as kits. Like, I have, like, the Bayern Munich one on right now, the Borussia Dortmund one. <laughs> it's pretty funny. But, hey, Bundesliga, you know the, vi you know the vibes, boys. You know the vibes. Uh, this game, guys, we're going to try him out this time in the right wing position. Let's see what he's like over there. Every time I use Jordy's field, it's just, it's sick. I like it. Yeah, so him not having a lean body type, guys, is something that you have to take into consideration, right? When it comes to his general dribbling capabilities in the middle of the park and in the attacking areas. I like that he comes back in that area right there, trying out some of his skill moves. Come off nicely, to be fair. Oh, beautiful goal there. Lovely, lovely stuff. I love that, man. I mean, from what I can tell so far with Bailey's card, guys, um, you know, he's a player that you can use in any of the attacking positions. His attacking AI is perfectly fine. Um, it's just a matter of where you want to play him, right? He's definitely a card you can definitely get for fun and use him in good ways, to be honest. He's got dribbling, he's got pace, shooting, um, all the things you kind of need for him to be a decent attacker of the sorts, right? Um, it's really important that he has really good base pace stats for him to be able to make runs like this, potentially do this, and then go for a finesse shot. There you go, right? So, you know, it's just the type of card because of certain characteristics that he has with the finisher chemistry style. It's a pretty decent card, to be fair. I'm having... I'm, I'm getting like sort of like Bellarabi vibes with him, right? But in his own ways, like he's really, really fun to use as well as Bellarabi. So for that alone, I would definitely do the SPC myself. I just need to go see what his uh, price is afterwards. Hmm. Just want to see what his dribbling is like under pressure there. Ooh. The reason why I did the fake shot stop in that area is because I wanted to get that finesse shot angle with him again. Because his finesse shots are pretty good, and it's because of his finishing and shot power being higher because of the finisher chemistry style that we actually end up giving him. Should be a cross right here. I should have crossed that ball earlier because Leroy Sané made a really good run right there. Layoff, make that pace. Middle pass right here, perfect. Little skill move, body feint, fake shot stop, one angle. Oof, I don't score that opportunity. See, in areas like that, you know how you're kind of like coming off of the dribble? That's where it's really nice to have that finesse shot trait, you know? He does actually cut inside and get him behind there, which actually causes space for my midfielder. Yeah, I was actually really good right there. His attacking AI movement to follow that instruction is great. So the only thing that's a little bit off with the card is dribbling from the very specific areas, obviously, for full meta purposes, you know, but first time strike. Oh, we hit the crossbar because we put way too much power, but that was a really good pass there to uh, to Bailey on the side. And his positioning was great. Follows the uh, fast build up, getting behind part of the card really nicely. All right, guys. So final verdict on the Leon Bailey card. So this card with the finisher chemistry style, guys, is actually really fun to use. And it's a pretty good SBC, right? Because I was thinking like, hey, maybe if he's like 140K, we'll have that discussion, you know? Like he's still pretty decent at 140K, but we have to talk about a few variables at that price range, right? But for 88K, the card's pretty good for 88K, right? When you give him a finisher chemistry style, 
The thing about this card is that he already has the pace. So when you give him the finisher to boost his dribbling and shooting as much as possible while having okay composure at 80 because you notice from certain situations that he kind of got off balance once he had to make a pass or a shot, right? It's a nice card, man. 88k is incredibly fair for what you're actually getting in game. The only thing, and this is obviously only look at it from like the full meta perspective, is body type to dribbling not being crazy responsive, right? Like obviously he's not going to move like Neymar dribbling wise, but his dribbling is still perfectly fine. You can definitely move really well with him. It's not sluggish in any way. That's just us looking at it from a top meta perspective, right? But the card at 88k, guys, is incredibly fair for what you're getting in game, right? Traits, I wish he had the finesse shot trait because if I can use him on that right side and I get that left foot angle for, for him with that finesse shot trait, beautiful stuff, man. But I still think that the card is incredibly fair for the price that you're getting for what he offers in game, for sure, man. I really enjoyed using him, dudes. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.